Okay, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video guys and in this video we are going to be playing Five Nights Tower Defense and we are actually going to be putting a couple units to the test here today that the devs gave me access to and before you guys spam the comments down below asking how did I get this unit, how did I get, how did I do this, blah 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 the devs gave me this unit and you know actually at the end of the video we are going to be deleting them from my inventory because you know it's obviously not fair that I just keep them but in this video as you guys read by the titles we are going to be testing a shiny vengeance stone trap versus a shiny vengeance if i just have vengeance does it show up it does not a shiny vengeance dread bear and a shiny vengeance widow um where is he right here widow baby there we go a shiny vengeance we're gonna be testing all three units out seeing which one is better obviously expect the nightmares to be better but who knows we might be pleasantly surprised i've actually never even seen stone traps attack animations or anything like i have not used them at all so it's gonna be my first time playing using him you know doing all that so i'm gonna also make sure i go ahead and use the where is he the purple guy we're gonna bring purple guy with us just because we need a starter unit because you know i don't want to I don't want to sell. So we're going to bring a starter unit. And we're actually going to go to the event. I highly doubt we're going to be able to do good in the event with these units. But you know what? We can try. I'm going to use... I should probably bring a better unit, actually, if I'm going to go to the event. What other unit should we bring? Uh, We'll bring the, the night guard because he's going to slow down. And we'll also bring this one because why not? So we bring three, three purple guys with us. Maybe one day, if they add three more, we can do like a purple guy only squad. But anyways, we'll go straight into it. And while we load in, guys, don't forget to join the Discord server for my new game guys it is dropping this friday this friday november 29th multiverse tower defense is dropping guys there's already a trailer in my channel if you guys go back over there and there's also a link in the description down below to the official discord of the game because again like i said we're gonna be going live it's gonna be really fun because the game's gonna be dropping this friday but and, and for those who don't know it's like a multiverse tower defense so there's like plant vs zombies characters there's lebron james there's marvel characters there's star wars there's fnaf characters there's everything go over there check it out but anyways let's just go straight to this video i think we're gonna go with redo more cooldown should we do more cooldown too i think we should do more cooldown or reduce range reduce range because these units got pretty big range so we're gonna see how well they do and oh, oh the exit are over here i kind of placed this one wrong but you know whatever we'll place oh i should have placed i should have started with the other one i should have started with this one because it slows here we go just because of the slow. Oh, wait, I forgot that there's two sides. There we go. There we go. We'll just focus on placing down really quickly my purple guys just so they, you know, can handle the beginning waves. There we go. Place down another one over here. Why did my game just lag? Not back here. We place another one like here. There we go. There we go. And then I think I already placed down my three of these. Three of these. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just place down my three of these. Three of these. And three of these okay okay we're set we're set on purple guys now and we can start placing down the new unit so i'm gonna start off let's start off with the cheapest one with the just dread bear and we're gonna see his maxed out stats as a shiny nightmare you know with vengeance let's max him out over here and see what his stats are looking like i really like dread bear's animations like honestly look at him his animations are so sick but like this he starts like tweaking over here this Dreadbear unit is insane. I really wish he was stronger, honestly, because he is a really sick unit. I think I'm going to bring a video tomorrow talking about units that need buffs or nerfs, and Dreadbear is definitely a unit that needs a buff right now. But that's Dreadbear here. Let's place down a Vengeance uh, Circus Baby over here. Just see how how well she's going to be able to handle it. But again, bro, this Dreadbear unit is so fire. It's like definitely one of my favorite units in the entire game so we're gonna get this one you just get a screenshot of it and then of course we have the circus baby over here look at her as well such a sick unit bro like look at the design and everything for it it's just a crazy unit let's max her out she's cheaper wait how much damage is she doing 1967 1967 wait they do the same exact damage no way they actually do the same exact damage and i have no booster units because i didn't want to you know that to affect the our results but I didn't know that they did the exact same amount of damage maxed out. Okay, that's kind of crazy. 1960. And then, okay. Let's see what's the stats looking like for Stone Trap then when he's maxed out. We'll place him down right here. I've actually never seen his attack animations in my first time. And oh, I wonder if he does burn. Does he do burn? Yo, hold on. Let's see. Well, how much How much damage is he doing? Hold on. 42k. Okay. Oh, uh, 19k compared to 42k? Well, but this one, okay, okay, let's calculate the DPS for these units. I'm actually gonna move my stone trap a little bit more this way, just because that one was, it was a very bad placement that I did. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's calculate this DPS real quick. So, 
four uh what's it called four stone trap he's doing four two one eight seven point four and divide that by two he's doing 21k a second okay 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 21k a second dreadbear he's go oh i just closed my entire thing okay dreadbear he is going to be doing nine nine it's not even gonna i mean i'm gonna calculate anyways but we already know it's gonna be lower is going to be doing how much 9k every second circus baby does have a lower cooldown so she might do a little bit more so 19 six eight seven divided by 0 0.96 which is 20k okay so circus baby does almost the same as um stone trap because stone trap does 21k and she does 20k and dread bear is the lowest one doing 9k i believe that's what we found that so not like i said dread bear is def definitely needs a buff because he he's looking not that good but again he is i wish you could see the kind of unit there were because I, I forget in game i can't really tell right now with this animation what kind of unit he is i think he's a splash unit uh i don't remember the rest real quick and i want to know does stone trap do burn he's kind of one-shotting everybody so i can't really tell we're gonna have to wait for the boss but i wonder if he's a burn unit because his sword is on fire but like look at this character design like bro you cannot tell me this is not one of the sickest character units we've ever gotten here in the game like this unit is just so sick let me look at this look at this unit bro it is so sick oh the boss spot in and ruined it the boss just completely ruined my screenshot like look at this unit over here guys tell me this unit is not absolutely insane model wise i'm gonna move him over here because i want to see how good he is against the boss uh real quick let's see look at him look at him melting the boss away because he's doing 42k just melting i don't think he does burn i feel like there would have been an icon or something okay let's go ahead and reduce placement to three totals five minus five max tower placements um oh you know we'll just go with reduced range honestly we'll go with reduced range i think we'll be fine with reduced range okay crap four okay exit only one exit only one exit only one exit okay okay we're good we're good we're good only one exit dude oh i need money quick hurry up spawn in i need my money I think I don't remember what wave we died in on yesterday's video or two days ago's video, but oh please, please kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! No, he's so low. Ooh, ooh. There we go, max this one out as well. We need to just try to kill these as fast as possible. These early ones are gonna get us cooked. Okay, now we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Let's start doing some more damage real quick. Here we go, 1K. Please. There we go. And then I'm going to start placing on my slow ones back here. Because they also have more range. Uh, just Since they have low range, I'm going to place them all down. Just so we can try to get them to slow as much as possible. Okay, there we go. See, the slow ones are actually going to be a lot more helpful. We'll just go with these ones. There we go. And then this one. Is this one maxed out? No, it's not. There we go. Max this one out. And then I'm going uh, to... I think I'm going to... Actually, I was going to spread them out. But I think I'm just going to leave it all over here. Just so it's easier for us to control where the enemies are. Now we'll see how far we can get with this team, honestly. Alright, there we go. We should be fine for a little bit. I wonder to what wave. Guys, let me know in the comments down below. What's the highest wave you guys made it so far uh, in this game? But I have, honestly have not been playing it that much. But it is really fun. So, ooh, I thought that was that was gonna be that's his max out range. I think that we saw before. I thought that was gonna be the range he spawned in at, or else I wouldn't have placed him over here. But you know, whatever, it's fine. We can keep it like this just for a little bit. The other one should be able to kill it as we wait. There we go. Yeah, no, he doesn't do burn, or at least he doesn't seem to do burn. Although it would be really cool because his like sword is on fire, so it would make sense for him to be like the first burn unit in the game. That would be pretty sick, but sadly not. Let's uh, wait for him to get over here, and then we'll finish upgrading him. You know what, playing this, you know something I just realized is that this game needs two times uh, speed game mode, like fast. Like, it's usually not a problem for tower defenses in the beginning, like when they first come out. This game has been out for a while, like now these early waves of infinite mode that we know we can get through, like, you know how much better it would be right now if I had two times? I think I'm just going to start placing, I'm going to place my Dreadbear back here. So we can go ahead and get some of these units gone. 
Because right now they're dying way too slow. I'm just gonna place down a. Actually, never mind. It's fine. I'll leave it. I was gonna place down a circus baby right here. But I'll just place down a circus baby alongside Dreadbear. Back here. Actually, no, Dreadbear should be able to tank them all. What am I talking about? This is Dreadbear with Vengeance. Like, come on, Dreadbear. Come on. You can do better than this. Come on. There we go. We'll max out this Dreadbear as well. And then I'll place down a Widow baby. Let's see how far we can make it with this team. Let's see how much. Uh, is it cranks it's called? I don't know. What's the thing that we get from this game mode again? Whatever it is that we'll get a lot of it. Let's let's hope. Let's hope that we can make it pretty far with this. Another boss and it's about to get melted by Stone Trap. Stone Trap is really good. Now I can kind of see why he costs 200 coins. Like the design is sick and it's just a really good unit. Like look at this damage. Look at that. Easily, 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 easily defeated. We'll go ahead and we're going to do... I could just do cooldown one, honestly. Yeah, we'll just do cooldown one. I was going to do uh, speed, but just just cooldown so easy. Um, I think since cooldown, I think we should just go ahead with whatever one does more damage. I think this one does the most. Not this one. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, this one does the most damage. I think out of the three spring traps, I think that one is the one. Or the three purple guys. I think. So. Oh my god! I didn't place out a single one to kill these ones. Hold on. I, I sold. I sold. I sold. I sold. I sold. I completely forgot about these ones. I was focused on the range that appears like when you first hover over them and that's their maxed out range oh my god i hate that okay crap i might have sold i might have sold i might have sold i might have sold no i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't but yes i did i might have sold i might have sold i might have sold oh chat hold on i'm gonna sell this i shouldn't know if i i'm gonna sell this one uh please we sold i sold no oh my god why did i do that why did I? Oh, I pressed X instead of E. Dude. We only got what? 600 claim. That, that's nothing. 600 is nothing, bro. I just completely sold. But I think the verdict here is that Stone Trap is better than Dreadbear 100%. And Widow. Well, she does hit. Uh, what's it called? I'm pretty sure she can hit more enemies than him at once. And her difference in damage is just like purely dps she does 1k less than him which is really not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things so they are pretty equivalent units which kind of shocks me because this is a coin unit which is definitely better than a nightmare from the last event which let's admit it needs a buff but it's on par with the mythic of this event with the nightmare of this event so it's kind of cool but anyways let me know your thoughts on all these units let me know which one do you prefer the most and as promised now we have to go ahead and delete them so bye bye widow baby bye bye oh well we sell them just for 500 and i think this one's gonna hurt the most because i really like this unit bye bye stone trap oh that kind of hurt i'm not gonna lie to you guys but anyways that's gonna be pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it put to like subscribe do what you guys gotta do and i'll see you guys next time Peace.